Hey everyone, it's John Reed, author of 50 Things to See with a Telescope. Welcome to the Homeschool Astronomy Challenge series. In this video, we're going to learn to observe the prominent autumn constellations. This is Learn to Stargaze. If you remember, in video number six, when we learned about the Summer Triangle, the Summer Triangle can be found overhead in the evening sky almost to the end of December. This is because as we move toward winter, the sun sets earlier and earlier. If you're looking up and toward the south, the autumn constellations will be found to the left or east of the Summer Triangle. If it's summertime and yet you still want to observe autumn constellations, just stay up till about midnight and you'll find them rising in the east. Now there are four autumn constellations I think are important to recognize. These are Perseus, Andromeda, Triangulum, and Pegasus. Andromeda is home to the Andromeda Galaxy, a galaxy you can see without a telescope in dark skies. Below Andromeda is a small constellation called Triangulum, and if you're using a telescope or binoculars in dark skies, this can be used as a reference to find M33, the Triangulum Galaxy. Perseus is home to several open star clusters, such as the famous Double Cluster, and M34, known as the Spiral Cluster. Open clusters are large groups of relatively young stars. These make great targets for binoculars and small telescopes. Then there's Pegasus, which contains the asterism, the Great Square, which is pretty much empty of deep sky objects. However, you can use the other stars in Pegasus to help guide you to two globular star clusters, M15 and M2. Note that these clusters are best observed with a telescope. There are several constellations in the autumn sky that aren't very bright at all. These include Pisces and Aquarius, as a stargazer who generally uses a telescope to search for deep sky objects, I ignore these constellations because they don't really offer great reference stars to help me find my targets. If you're following along in the 50 things to see with a telescope activity workbook, the autumn constellations are found on page 26. To complete this challenge, first draw in the constellation lines with a pencil, then go out at night and see the constellations with your eyes. Check the box to record your observations. I hope you enjoyed learning about the autumn constellations, Please subscribe so you don't miss the next video, and remember, the future is looking up.